start out and let's start talking linebacker play first, okay? Alright. Alright. We'll cover zone and we'll cover man. Okay? Alright. Zone. If I got play action pass, alright, and I'm talking uh he's moving the pocket, right? Or if he boots, wag, whatever, naked, don't make a difference, okay? If he's moving the pocket, okay, in zone coverage, okay, our rules, all right, is to take, we're, we're, we're looking to drop to a spot 10 to 12 yards outside the tackle box, okay? We're both looking for the same thing, okay? If it's a zone coverage, we're going to look to take away the drag cut. Tight end, simple, this should be a different pin. Okay. Okay. There's a tight end. There's a drag. If it's a wide out, there's a drag. And obviously, wide out's going to drive 15. Okay. All right. But they're all the same thing. Usually, any boot and waggle. The crossing route where he's looking to hit him is a depth somewhere between 10 to 15 yards outside the tackle box here. Okay. So we're just going to teach him aiming points. And that's what we're going for. Okay. Now, if I'm if I'm the backer, all right. So obviously I bid on play action pass, okay? Alright? Now the one the two things that's gonna help me on this, alright, is one, there's a lot of people in the spread, they are either gonna block the on two things, they're usually gonna either block the play, okay, or they're gonna zone it and they're gonna help like outside zone, they're gonna elephant parade, right? And two, and they're gonna what? I'm gonna turn, get my shoulders going, they want everything to flow. So they're gonna turn their shoulders, right? I'm blocking this gap, he's blocking that gap, that guy's got this gap, right? So we say, look, all it is, that's just the elephant parade, okay? Anytime we see the elephant parade, we know it's boot, okay? So we see the elephant, so the first thing we're looking for is the elephant parade. If we see it, okay, all right? Other thing is the play side backer, I can go and run here, I, should, I still got to cut my eyes, all right? Make sure I'm not getting blocked, cracked, or whatever else. I cut my eyes and two dragging, it's easier on tight end, it's not as easy on a wide out. Okay? But anyway, I see the elephant parade, okay? I want to open to the quarterback. So if the quarterback's going to my left, okay, I want to open to the quarterback here. Alright? Now when I'm getting a crossing route here, I'm gonna to sprint to a depth of 10 to 15, and I'm gonna snap my eyes and see if I can find a drag so I get in phase of the drag cut. Okay? What we do not want to do is open to the receiver, because usually what happens is you do open the receiver, now what? Gonna be chasing him the whole way, all right? So we want to make sure we're gonna open to the open to the quarterback, okay? I open to the quarterback, and I don't care where he's at. I'm gonna go cut him off that spot. It's just a race to that spot now, okay? I'm gonna get to that spot, try to get in phase with the drag cut, and then snap my eyes, okay? The backside backer is the one to be responsible for second containment, okay? All right? Again, we want to open up the, the zone right in front of the quarterback. Ideally, in a perfect world, we're getting it with him. He's coming second contain if we get knocked down. Okay? All right? Now, the in man on line of scrimmage, okay? If I'm getting boot, and I'm going to draw the other one back. If I'm getting the boot, okay? Now, his job is this. So I go to squeeze. Right? I go to squeeze, I see the boot. The first thing you want to do is we want to stick our foot in the ground and we want to run flat down the line of scrimmage. Okay? Alright? We're trying to get in the vision of the quarterback. If I was spraying his vision, that's it. So the first thing I want to do is I gotta get in his downfield vision. Alright? And we found this guy can take away this throw. Okay? And that's what we tell them. I, my job is to yeah, gain contain, but if I do it right, I should be able to take away the drag cut. Because I'm going to be right in the throwing lane. Okay? The problems I obviously get is what? He sees it, he runs up the field at the quarterback, and he chases into the sideline. Okay? So what we want to do is stick the foot in the ground. We tell him, stick the foot in the ground, regain contain. Okay? When I get in phase with the quarterback, then climb. Alright? Because by usually by two things can happen at that time. If he regains contain, the quarterback's gonna what? Continue to run. 
okay? Which now I would continue to come climb on him. Or at that point, he's going to what? Set his feet and try to shuffle so he can see the throwing lane and throw the football. At that point, we're, we're, now we're closing ground and containing him, okay? Get moving on that. So you, your backside linebacker is always second contained. He's the second contained guy. Now he's got the drag, and then if it goes down, he's the second guy. Okay, so he's reading that first. He's yeah. not coming. Yeah, no, he's not just coming. Okay. No. He's only, he's only going to come if this gets knocked down. Okay. Okay. We can say this, you better not get knocked down. If he gets a needed call and you want to just get down first, then they can't get a needed I mean, if you can't, if you can't, he's not going to get a needed call. Well, a lot of times what's going to happen, and most any time, again, most of it, he should be staying square, okay? And for, and for, he should be staying square and have a chance. But usually this, anyway, is when this play starts, I'm going to be here and the quarterback's going to be here. You lost it to start with. Alright? That's the thing. No, he's not going to be outside of things. It's always going to be caught where I, I should be. Up. Real world is I'm here. He's out there. So that's why I was say we want to sprint flat and I'm going to get in the vision and regain the team before I climb. Okay? Alright? And the problem, again, is the vision part is when he does this and that quarterback can see the whole field. And that's what you're trying to cut down on. Okay? Quarterbacks throw, you know, same thing he's done in the pocket. They throw in passing lanes, right? Same thing that you're talking about when talking about passes. I mean, if you don't have a, if you don't have a coordinated, <coughs> if you don't force both rush and get a coordinated rush, you watch how many times your nose gets on the wrong side of the center, and where's he throw the football? Right there, because you gave that's where the vision is. You can see everything. Okay. Question. If, they, if it isn't a key to call and they exchange it, you can say your backside backer, left backer, get, he actually comes up. You want him to just keep coming to the quarterback? Yeah, if you, anytime. So, so, yeah, you're so okay. We're like this now. You say we're here. All right? You get the eat call. Yeah. And he gets caught there. And then, then you come on. Yeah. Anytime you get caught in the line of scrimmage, if you get caught in the line of scrimmage, don't get caught in no man's land. Come on. Okay? <coughs> Where it happens majority of time for us, what I see it is this. It's when they block the front. You know? They do that. And we're telling our back for what? You gotta freaking go to the window. Bam, he's here. Come get it. Okay? So it's really because if you they're either gonna block the play. A lot of times spreads going to say now, they're going to say, okay, they, they call, uh, this is the way their, their system is set up this way. If I call uh, uh, seven naked, okay, they're going to elephant parade it, they're going to break the seven, boom, they're naked out, right? If they say uh, 26 pass, they're going to what? They're going to block the pass because they're trying to get the safeties to do the same thing, right? They're going to try to get the safeties to come on down and climb, okay? So then they're going to block the play the way it's occurred, maybe power or counter or whatever else. They're going to block the front just like they would a, a, a run play. Okay? They're going to block the front and then he's going to boot his butt out of there. Okay? So, what we usually get the backers losing them on is when they do it like the front. Okay? Because again, if you're fast flow, it's going to happen. So, we've got to worry about, okay, if he's caught in, what do you do? How are you going to cover all the, you know, how are you going to cover? Because you're going to numb the backer down. Right? Alright? Alright. Alright. Uh, now, let me do this before I go into secondary. All right? If we're in man, okay? So let's say if we're in any type of man coverage, all right? If you're in man, then you take the man. It's that simple, okay? So now, if I've got, if I'm responsible for the tailback and he does this, he's my guy, okay? If it's a zone, you're going to, we're going to drop the zone, we're going to zone cut the play action pass, or we're going to go to the cross for 10 to 15 cross here. If it's man, play the man. Okay? If you make any type of bracket call, okay, or we have several ways, we, 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 we bracket or a three way we involve, obviously that's more of a 21 personnel. Okay? We did that. Uh, let's say we're using the safety and backside safety, right? We're, we're three way and these three inside guys, right? So he drags, he's flat, or he drags, he's, you know, whatever, he's up, he's underneath, 
play action pass, okay? If we bracket three-way, any type of combination call, if you make a combination call, you play the combination. Okay? Right? If we're in man, you play the man. If we've got a bracket call, play the bracket call. If it's a zone, and when the backer's got the drag, okay, secondary plays their zones. Okay? All right. If one of the, if we're talking this about, uh, I'm going to tell you, here's, here's the rule. I don't come out of high school yet. Oh, you guys got this? They changed it last year. It says that the offensive lineman can be up to five yards downfield. The free blocking zone is extended to five yards. That is a pain in the butt on trying to replay action pass. Okay? So uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a problem coming. Because they start figuring it out, you know what I mean? How to do it. Uh, you know, you got a linebacker climbing, you got a guard coming and climbing on a linebacker three yards down the field. Crap, that's run. Okay? So, uh, a lot of that, you know, is going to affect how you coach and the safeties and stuff. Okay? And I'll be honest with you, that's a work, it's a work in progress for us right now. How are we going to figure it out? Okay? Because we're not going, not a lot, they're not doing it. We're not seeing, we're not seeing them do that because they're worried about protection. Okay? But, uh, our offense is our, our own offense has been tinkering with it once I told them that you know get the butt down the field man that sucker's gonna bite you know what I mean uh, if he's reading what he's supposed to read he's reading uncovered lineman crap he goes climbs to the back or that's safety you want his butt down there he'll be down there okay so all right let's talk about this now when we talked about the corner and stuff if, if I am reading on boot let's just go and put it this way five four like that if I'm reading the NBA line of scrimmage and I get low hat and we're coming, what's it going to be? He's going to be bit. Okay? So now you got to work off this. If he bites, okay, and now they take, let's go five on the go, uh, four on the speed cut. All right? Let's just do something like this. Okay? And we usually see it like this. It'd be like... Uh, Pull back offset and he slides back, slides the flat. Okay? Alright. If he recognizes, well, when he starts climbing, he sees low hat, he shoots, he, once he recognizes the boot, we just gotta turn and get our butt out of there. Okay? Alright? That's all you can. There's no way you can do so He's gotta turn and get his butt out of there. Okay? And again, the safety's job, that's his job, right? I got low hat. My eye's got to cut to five. I cut to five. Five's vertical. Okay. I got to pedal for width to get over top of five. Okay? So basically, this is going to turn into one on one over here. All right. It's going to turn one on one because you're going to lose his butt. Okay. All right. So that's it. All we want to make sure. Now, if we had a bracket call here with a backer now, saying let's say we bracketed this, this these two guys. Okay, when we say we're, going to, we're we're trying to make a bracket on five and four, well here's the new number four. Okay, so again I bite play action pass, I turn out. There's my new number four. Okay, he goes to the flat. I yell cut cut cut. I'm gonna cut that receiver off. My eyes got to go to five now. Okay, so that would be the guy in our window for five on a curl and he runs deep curl. He goes dunk deep out. We would try to get underneath that and free safety's on top. Okay. All right. If they're booting away from you, again, if he's booting away from me, let's just draw it the same side again. One, two. All right. All right. Don't give me that. All right. All right. I got low hat. I get low hat. Okay. I start to climb. All right. I attack. All right. He leaves me alone, I see it, we just gotta go out and chase. Okay? Alright? The tough part again is it's, that's what you gotta recognize. Alright? It's play action pass on first and ten. If they're smart, they wanna do it then. Okay? Once I get you in the second nine, we tell them, else, hey, know the right? Know the down and distance, son. Okay? Know the down and distance. It's second and nine. Alright? You should be alert, play action pass. <coughs> okay? They shouldn't be throwing on those downs. Throw them in, we should eat them alive. Okay? Without throwing this. Okay? 
All right. Let's just go ahead and I'm going to watch the cut ups and then we can ask some questions off of that, okay? Can you with me? Yeah, one quick question, Coach. You were talking about before your pre invert had to go to two. So are they are they going to end on line two, number two, or are they just pre snap on two? This one? Yeah. yeah. If, he, if he gets run at him, okay? If I get run at me, if I'm the primary force, yeah. right? If I'm, if I'm force, okay, I have the what right to be fooled. Okay? So he gets low head, he's got to pull his trigger. Yeah. He's not going to see this cat. Right, okay. So it's in man. Yeah. It's in man to that. Now, in man goes high hat, now my eyes got to too. In with low hat, I got to go. I'm the right. If I'm primary force, if you're going to have, if your guys are going to force and you're going to get them back to force, you can't tell the force and you got flash and pass. Hell no. He'll play the flash and pass. And he ain't getting a coach. I, I, you, know, I didn't, you can't put him no. You got to. If I want him to force him, come balls out, then I got to give him the right to be fooled. Somebody else has got to take my top. And take my top, but it would be him, right? So let's say we're doing quarters again. I'm locked on him, so he goes backside post, corner got it, okay? All right? I'm playing the quarter concept on him. I got the right to be fooled. Two runs drags, three safeties got it. Okay? Now, ideally, we'd want to see that, and we want what? We want to get that thing double. Ideally, because usually that's the hot round, okay? When we go into uh, pass concepts, you know, you're always going to have this. You got a live route, okay? All right? You got a decoy, and you got bait, okay? You got to know which ones are which, okay? This, on a play action pass, is hardly ever the live route, okay? Let me go. Uh, Okay, let's get that. And, uh, oh, hell, this is guy. Okay, all right, here it is, right? Bait, live, okay, key coy. Right? They want what? They want the safety to get his butt out of there. They want to draw the back of there. They want to hit that one. Okay? They're coming across, they're looking for it. And that's an, any, any route concept we're talking about, you know what I mean? I really want to go. Uh, say, let's go NCAA route, right? Same thing. Well, it's kind of the same way as it did, but anyway. Dig, let's go drag, dig, post. Okay? Drag, dig, post. Okay? Eight, live, decoy. Okay? He's only going to throw that route if what? Somebody, if he's got bank aids. Got vacate, they'll throw that route. Got don't vacate. That's, that's just a decoy. Get them out of here. That's your live route. Okay. So the same thing when we go. Uh, there's a general way to teach it. Right. When we all talk about if it's a uh, if it's a triple vertical, low, high, medium. Don't matter if it's outside. All right. What we call OV outside vertical stretch, or it's a middle vertical down the middle. Okay. If they go shallow, intermediate, deep. The deep one's usually the decoy. The live one's the intermediate route. The, the one the shallow is always the bait. Okay? That one gets you to draw this so you can hit the dig cut. Right? If they do that, curl flat, curl flat. Right? Live route. Bait. Okay? We've got to know which one he's trying to hit. Okay? So, the same thing we try to teach. You know, I think a lot, you know, we're, we're doing the same process right now. We've got some young guys who are saying, hey, we got to. Uh, we're trying to teach you know, football intelligence. You know, you always want to talk about, hey, our guy, oh, we making stupid mistakes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And we, we label this and we evaluate our kids. We talk about we give them an, an, an FBI grade. It's your football intelligence grade. Okay? And we try to grade them. But in order, if you want to increase their FBI, we got to tell them these things so they understand. Okay? I need to know at the free safety that when I get this, boom. Which one's the, you know what I mean? Which one's the, who's the decoy, who's the live route? Okay? And I gotta know where he's looking. Once he looks me off, boom, then this guy is gone. Right? We'll talk about when we break it down and where they go in the progression reads. So we got, we wanna know once we take away the decoy, now we can what? We can respond to the live route. Okay? And we wanna know on their reads where they're going. But on any boot, let's go back to, and any boots, right? Boots, that, that drag, that's the live route. That's the one they want. Okay? This, this one right here, he'll, he'll take it, 
And it may take a little more in high school. You may take a little more, okay? Because it's easy throw. It's right in front of his face. Dump the ball out to the fullback and the flats or whatever else. You may get a little more. But ideally on things, if they're money maker on the boot plate, it's a drag cut. Okay? So cover three cut <coughs> on the boot, cover three, you're telling free safety to let the corner own the post and just really play on the drag? Okay. Let's go cover three. Ideally, if I was running play, if we're running boot, if they're running boot and I know it, I want to be in cover three. Right? Again, um, go like that. Okay. That's our, I mean, that's obviously, that's what we want to start with. If they're on flex pass, the easiest way to cover it isn't that. So if they, uh, okay. All right. This is all, this is always the question is this. Is do you want them to take away the post and you're going to leave the, the live route alone? Okay. All right. Okay. So that's the question in cover three. I think every stat you better figure out which one do you want. Are we going to protect the post and rally to the to, to the drag? Are we going to take away the drag and leave our corner on the post? Okay. All right. What we tell them in cover three is this: if I'm the three, if that's a wide out, we've got to take the drag. Okay. Because the backers ain't going to wing on getting get it. too deep, and he's running too damn fast. So we go cover three. We're going to take the live route. Okay. And you got it. Okay. Now we can speed turn out. We see that thing. We see it climb. We can speed turn out. Help it. Corner's got the post. Okay. If that's a tight end, backers got him. And he's got to know that. We should be able to get that, and I can what? Protect for the post. Okay. All right. Now we did it both ways. I've done many years with somebody else. Hell no, we're a post player. We're gonna rally to that thing. Okay. But uh, I think uh, you can do that. I mean, I think you, you can do it off the game plan. I mean, I don't, there's no reason why you can't say, hey, this week, but hey, they're running it and they're running it six, seven times a game and they're hitting a drag cut. This is the playmaker. Here he is. Take it. Squeeze the post. How many times have they thrown the post? You know what I mean? I think you got to go back and look at them, a game plan. How many times they throw the post out? Is it truly a decoy? Or is it the live route? That's their big playmaker here. And maybe you run the flash pass and you just toss it up to, you know, big number eight and let's go get him. Well, hell, then you better cover the thing and get two on the post. I think you need cover three, all right, or cover one, you got to figure out which one you want to do, okay? Now, I think that depends on yours, your playmakers here, how good your corners. You know who you're playing and all that, but that's a decision you got to make. And cover three is he going to be a, is he going to be the drag cut or is he going to be the post cut? Okay, all right. Now we did it before. We used to do it. I guess we told the three. All right. If I pat pat pat, I, I see the boot. Check as I'm, as I'm running out. I check number two anyway. All right. Well, I check number two on the run. I buy on play action. Here's the, here's the check number two on the run. Okay. As he comes out, if the backers got him, right. <coughs> Speed turn out and get to the post. Okay? And we've done it that way. If he's got him, speed turn out and get to the post. If they don't have him, take him. Okay? So that's another way you can do it. Right now, basically, what generally works out for us, if he's a wide out, appreciate he's going to have him. We know he, they ain't going to get him. Okay? All right. that, and that's what we're telling the free. Guys, they ain't going to get him. Okay? So you got to have to take him. All right? Now we tell the backers, you better get his ass. Okay? All right? When we tell the free safety, you better be ready. If it's a wide out, you better take it. Okay? Alright. Uh, this first one's going to be versus too high. If he was, that's the same thing. Arlo, that's the same thing. You think he's going to be late though on that live route if he 
Try to read stands it. until he gets past the tackle and then drives on. I think he'll be, I think he'll be late, late, but he'll make the tackle. Right. Yeah. And a lot of times, I think uh, we we got to make a decision also, a lot of times is, you know, what do you want to live with? Right. You know, how many times are they going to do it? Right. And I mean, if he's going to do it twice, crap, you can live with make Hey, they're going to do this twice. Let's protect the post and we'll make the tackle and line up and play. You know, how good is it? You know, if they're throwing, if that drag cuts a guy that, not a playmaker, you can get him down. You know, we do that sometimes too. Say, hey, well, we're going to live with it. You know, I, don't, I think a lot of times, you know, defensively, you, know, you ain't going to have a call. You ain't gonna call for every damn thing. You know what I mean? Certain times they, they got you. You know what I mean? You just got to make sure, make it, make it a, a limited damage. Hit the butt on the ground and let the play another down. Just don't turn it into six. Okay. All right. Five is our is our two deep matchup. Ignore the front. We're in some different stuff. Okay. <coughs> All right. This is a little different. Again, I see it. They're gonna go from no back, motion back into one back. Okay. There's the backside guard pulling. And then we've got this one again. There's the guy. Who's wrong? Him. This is a matchup. Ah. Okay. He's got that one. Okay. All right. Here we go. Right. Squat. We squat footwork. I've got him. All right. We're in quarters on this side. Top down on outside. Okay. Again, we should be playing this. This is going down. This is like third and third and five. Crap, they ain't running the zone. We're actually in 60 Bs. All right, we should have it covered. There's no reason it should be a run this script. Okay. Third and five, we go 60 Bs. This ain't no, this ain't no zone play. Okay, we shouldn't, we shouldn't be biting on this at all. Okay, so that's why again, we're not running sport hard here. We're, we're in this, right? We got him, all right? Backside, uh, with slam footwork. Okay, you can see it. There's a slam. I work underneath. I'm talking about dividers here. We're talking more about pass on stuff. He works inside my divider. What am I? I'm low hip, low shoulder. Anything inside my divider, I'm low hip, low shoulder. Why? Who's got the top? He does. Let's see if we get pass. Uh, we can see this guy. Is there a way? The, the screen's kind of offset. So it's part of the round's board. Is that your flip? Huh? Yes, it is. It's flip out of uh, 60 Bs. There's no nose guard in there. Right. We'll use that nose guard right there. Coach, when you when you allow, uh, like let's say you cover three, yep. and, and number one breaks post inside your divider, so you're talking about allowing him to undercut, yep. and then he breaks back out to the corner. Yep. Am I just fading back out to get back outside of them? You can get the <coughs> corner will be underneath the corner out. Okay. Yep. <coughs> Let's go see the next one. Okay. All right. Now this should be, uh, I showed you just a little bit. This is a, a bare front, and the back is a drop guy in the boundary, and he's down. He's going to roll back late. We're giving them a bare front. We're trying to show cover one. Okay? And then we're going to go back. Free safety should cheat. He should start in the middle. He got to cheat over. We're going half. We're playing two shell. And there's a two shell now. And there's a the drop guy. All right? Again, we talked about how we're going to cut routes. Again, we're a matchup underneath. So we call the bracket when we're bracketing. Okay? So here's what we got. See this guy right here and him? They're bracketing these two receivers. Okay? So we're going to play the bracket. That guy goes out. Cut, cut, cut. He's got the flat. I call cut. That guy's mine. We're going to match it up. Watch. He should turn his back, but the ball hit him in the back of the head. It has to. Okay? 
Let me talk a little about play action pass on this stuff too. It, it, it's really important, I think, a lot of times play action pass. If my guy blocks, or especially if he blocks the perimeter, all right, I'm responding on the backside back. If it was zone, same thing, he'd come. If my guy blocks and I see him blocking here, if they lose contain, he would, if this continued out, this backside backer would be coming on second contain. That guy right there. Okay? This is a little different. They pulled the center. Yeah. Hard to see the pull. They pulled the center. Uh, okay. We'll get a little bubble here. Maybe fast forward. It's cover three on flash passes. I guess down the line. Okay, you make the damn tackle. Okay. We'll just hit it while it's here. This is going to get bubbled. We're going to hit to it late. Okay? Okay? All right. I want to leverage two. Right? We want to make sure we leverage two. So I should be outside. She should be squat footwork. Okay? She should step his outside foot first. Third, I know he's in squat. Okay? I need to stay outside of this guy. Okay? I should stay outside. And her free ought to be coming inside this thing. Okay? Coach, on your trips, you're just basically taking away number one and playing stack force with those two guys. Yep. Two guys inside, aren't you? Yep. Yeah. Uh, on this one's a little different. Um, sorry, that is, is that really what we've got here is we're squatting him. We're squatting him and him. He's over the top of one and two. The backside safety would take three, and we're soloed on the backside. Okay? Why We do this really in full. All right, here's it. In our conference, basically we see, and a lot of times we run into a lot of people, if you get load, okay, if you get load, it is usually either screen or sprint out. Okay? Four to a side. You check your conference. If they go four to a side, chances are what you're getting, you're gonna probably gonna get screen or you're getting strung up a sprint out. Okay? Same thing, squeeze, there it is, squeeze. <clears throat> Pull to the side. Bubble. Okay, leverage two. Inside foot step up first. Uh, he's slammed. He's inside that cat. Right? Now, Coach, are you only leveraging that two when you've got a load situation or four to the side? No. Back is on the other side. Or you any, no, that's it. In our, uh, any, any too high, basically any too high, we're going to leverage two. If we're in too high coverage, we're going to leverage that cat. Unless he got real wide. By a fly off the split, he eliminates the bubble by two. And if you 
were to get a vert by him, is that Mike going to work to, to widen the The three? Or, yeah. Yeah, he, yeah. Mike will work to the three? Mike will work to three. You bust oh, the linebacker over the top. For the seam by two, you're not worried about pushing oh. it out wide or anything. With the outside, cat nickel or linebacker. Or yeah, what the, what, yeah. Um, we can talk about it more when we go to the pass game stuff, but the. Uh, figure out how you're going to play load, how you're going to play three by one, right, and how you're going to play four vert. Those are the biggest questions I think right now when we talk about spread. We talk about coverage, those are the things. How you going to play, how you going to play four, you know, load, four by one, how you going to play four by one, how you going to handle that, okay? So what we would do, all right, if they're like that, and backer would be here, backer would be here, we'd leverage that, and too high, we'd be like this, right? All right, general, and I'm saying uh, how we do this, it can change by game plan, but the general thing is, is we would, we would eliminate him, all right, we put top down on this guy, top down man here, all right, we're playing, we're playing quarters, okay, I'm going to quarter that, I'm going to play a half over three and two, okay, I'm going to half this, all right, so he would take three, and three was coming vertical, okay, he would take that, I would half them, all right. This guy, we would still true half the back side, okay, and play underneath this guy in case we got that, all right? If you change it and you put him here, that's load. Our general way to do that, now load with what? Boss. I'm going to boss, so I'm going to slide out to help on three, especially for the screen game, okay? Now I'm going to take three vertical. I'm going to play top down, man. We're going to squat him right because we're seeing a lot of screens. So I, I think those are better, I mean, whatever you're playing, I think those are the questions you got to learn on, on coverage. <coughs> it's four vertical, how you going to handle that. It's how you're going to handle the load, four by ones, and how you going to handle three by one. And you may do it all the same way. That's, you know what I mean? Okay. Does that answer your question tonight? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, there's some basic things, though, guys. When, when we're calling it, like I said, if they're running boots, we'd love to be in cover three. Okay? We'd love to be in cover three. Okay? If they're running 21 personnel, two backs and tight end, I don't care if we're one or three. That's good. Okay? If they're in 10 personnel spread and they're running boots, I do not want to be in cover one. Okay? I don't like it. Because if that day gonna drag and run faster than my safety, they got they got to play all day long. Okay, so I don't like that. So we, our big thing when we get in ten, we want to be in some type of too high. Okay, and that's kind of our general rules going in how we're gonna play. It. Okay, all right. So we just gotta know when's the play action pass downs, when are they doing it, something that's how we'll, we'll call it up. We did not have a we did not have. This year, we did not have a boot pass versus cover one. Why? Because I just told you, I don't want to do it. All right? Because just one second, you lucked out. We're going to defense it. We're going to work it. But I don't want to be in the crowd. So, I mean, lucked out, we kind of get, we get it right by the thing, knowing that it's going to be, uh, you know, if they're doing it right on the right downs and when they're thinking it, when I'm thinking it, I'm, make, I'm trying to make sure we ain't in that, okay? But like I said, we love to be in three. And for three, for us, uh, we got, uh, it's kind of different. We, we probably, we got four different ways to play cover three, okay? The concepts are going to stay the same, okay? We understand how to do it, whether, whether it be, uh, uh, you know, with a backer pushing under, with, you know, five in the boundary, being a curl flat guy, whether it be three, and we can roll three to the field, and, and, and I'm play three over top, uh, over the top of the field side, you know, in a load situation, or whether it be uh, we're going to bring a corner blitz and play cover three over top. I'm going to do all that stuff. So uh, we'll play Darius cover three. All those cover threes, we I love them when we go play action pass because it really makes it easier for the kids. 
I'm the flat player, and everyone booed. Here comes the flat. I take the flat. Backers make the drag cut. Okay. Backside corner is going to squeeze the post, and on the front side corner, I'm playing top down on the release. Okay. So, how do you defend the four verticals out of cover three if you're stuck in it and go four verticals? Okay. <coughs> Shrink on the backside, and I'm going to hang with four. Why? Because the back he's looking at. Me. 
boom, high hat, I come back, it's vertical, bang, 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 my eyes go back to the quarterback, I'm going to hang with a vertical. I ain't worried about going to the flat. Okay? I ain't worried about going to the flat. Why? Because you're looking over there. If, uh, let's say, your strong safety guy on the right, quarterback's looking to me, so I'm banging the seam, and quarterback's shoulders are outside, and I'm now coming off to one. Is he sliding <coughs> in his hands, or is he running? When he see he gone. Yeah. We're running. Yep. Yep. The route that we're trying to say is this. Most people in a spread, okay, they're not running four verts. Okay? It's a read. So he has the outside seam read. Okay? He releases. If he can't get on top, what's he supposed to do? Snap it off. He has the inside seam read. If it's one high, what's his job? Keep it on the seam. Okay? So nine times out of ten, we know if we're in cover three, what do we get? Outcut. Run underneath it, down top, as soon as he does it, as soon as he snaps it off, what? Go to two. Okay? As long as I'm on top, he ain't gonna do it. Now if you go cover two, it's gonna be a different thing, right? If you go cover two, what's he gonna do now? If I got the top, I'm gonna keep it. Okay? Safety's on that thing, how's he gonna read on the front side? Okay? If he works here, he's gonna work inside of him. Whether they do it in the bend route or whatever else, the front side guy. You know, he's going to keep it, okay? Or they may be working, if they called it this way, he could be staying on the vertical, and he's got the bend route. Okay? Get one on that? You know how most people aren't going. They don't go four verticals and going to run them. They're reading them. Okay? The, the whole run and shoot concept is went to all spread offenses. Okay? If I'm the outside guy, and I got the outside, I got the, uh, 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 the outside read, He's going to run that thing. If he can't get on top by 15 or 12 to 15, wherever they declare an offense, if he can't get on top, boom, he's going to sit it down. Okay? They don't want a, they don't want a dead route. Okay? Did we get that? So that's the same thing. So that's, again, that's how we want to play it. So if we had cover three, okay, he runs the seam route. He's looking this way. We're going to work to handle that. I'm going to protect the top. As soon as I see him sit it down, Okay, I'm going to check the quarterback. He's a, the, by the time the ball should be out, right? He's either throwing that and I'm breaking there, or he's throwing that and I'm here. Okay? And that, you know, I'll kind of get into a little more on that when we do uh, the, uh, you know, the, the five-step drop stuff. Okay? But, um, all right. Um, let me classify again. I want to make sure I, I want to know if I was real clear on this. Uh, a boot would be off a of flow. You know, if we start teaching underneath the center, okay? A boot would be off a of flow that side. That's a boot, okay? A waggle is off the counter. So, right? That's a waggle, right? Boots and nakeds get going in the same group, right? You can run naked off the stretch, naked off the inside zone, all that, okay? So, once you take them to the gun, okay, all right, they run stretch. If they, if they run inside zone, fake it, roll, okay, that's classified there as a boot, okay? If they run a waggle, does, it's what? Some type of counteraction fake come through there, okay? And then what happens, these get crossed up in, in the, uh, and the spread offense because they look the damn same. Okay, uh, but we want to make sure we have ways to classify what's a boot, what's a waggle. So when we're talking terminology. Our kids they understand. So when it goes underneath the center, or it goes to the gun, or whatever else. Hey, if they're faking off the counter, or rather when you waggle, you're doing usually two type. There's a there's a full back in there. Or they may slide an H back in there, and he motions across H H H right. And then boom, fake that, and then he's coming to the flat. Okay. All right. So a lot with a spread, we get, how do we classify you between a boot and a waggle? All right. <coughs> They're usually doing it with three to a side. They're going to flood route concept, where it'd be vertical, uh, sail route, flat. Okay. Whereas a waggle, 
Whereas a waggle, they're, they're usually bringing somebody from the inside. Okay? So tailback, quarterback, they put an H in there. Okay? He's going to fake that now, and now you're going to get H. You're faking split zone, he's coming to the flat. Okay? You're going to get outside vertical, and you're going to get a drag cut. That's a waggle. That's just that's a waggle. Backside pose. Right? Again, when you say that's a decoy, <coughs> that's a live, that's a fake. And Charlie, you can say the same thing. He's a decoy. He's going to look at it. If you got press coverage, you're going to get it. If you don't, he's just stretching you. Okay? He's going to come off the bend. Quarterback, what's he do? If it comes off the right, he's going to take a sneak peek at it. If he's got it, he's throwing it. Okay? If he don't throw that ball now, that route is done. It's over with. Okay, now he goes to now he's gonna read this to this. Okay? Alright? So but we want to make sure when we're talking to our kids, they know the difference of what looks like what. Okay? And we want to make sure again we know how to play each one because this is different than this. You know, and what they're trying to do out of it. Now we don't just classify boot wag, we want to say boot, and then we want to classify, we're saying it's boot. We want to classify the pass concept when we're the passes of what they're doing off of. So let's say boot, flood. Okay? Alright? Or we could say, you know, if it's boot and they're reading the middle vertical, it could be boot or waggle. And we just call the concept middle vertical stretch. They're throwing that to that. Okay? Alright? Because as you get through the season again, you have boot, they're not all running, the routes ain't the same. We're just classifying that's the boot waggles, that's just telling us the, the quarterback action, the action that's happening in the backfield, the quarterback launch points. Okay? And then we still got to classify again the routes or the pass concept that's coming with it. Okay? Where's he read? Okay? Because a lot of this stuff, sometimes, an isolation route. That means he's running a boot and he's throwing a post. It. There's no read, no nothing. You don't no read to it. Right? He's gonna fake the boot, he's coming out, he's chucking that ball deep. Okay? He's the same thing. He's gonna run the waggle, and it's what's the concept? It's isolation out, it's X fade, X go, whatever you want to call it. Alright? So if there's no read to it, where else he ain't dumping anywhere else, that's it, we just call it. So everybody knew, hey, if I get the boot to me, you better get top down because you're getting the ball. Alright? If I was getting boot, and then again, if it was an isolation, they're throwing the big guy to Z, and that's what they're trying to do on this thing. And again, that we want to make sure what? We're playing the live route. Because he's the live now. Okay? Alright? Those concepts go when we start talking about pass, the same thing, but it goes back to the boot. You got a live, you got a bait, you got a decoy route. Know where he's going with the football. Okay? talk about what I want to talk about this is, is the cover two concept on the on the waggle okay all right okay here we go just I'm just getting the back of the action right within this four backs within that all right how we're gonna fit this we want to know by coverage how we're gonna fit this thing okay so if the safety we're talking about here is I'm on half field coverage in two, right? I gotta take the go route. Okay? The backers we told about, we're taking the drag cut. Okay? Alright? Backside safeties on corner, okay, <coughs> we're squeezing the post. Okay? So we're gonna match it up. And that's what you want to do in all your coverages. Okay? We don't want to just play the coverage. We want to know how we're going to match the route in the coverage. Okay? We want to talk, hey, we're getting there. Hey, here's, we want to take their five, six, whatever play. We want to take their five, six passes, and we want to make sure that they're comfortable. This is how we're playing the route. Okay? Play the route within the coverage. Okay? So here's how we can handle cover two. All right? In cover two, we're telling him, if I'm a squat corner, okay? All right? I'm going to squat. All right? If he outside releases, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to jam, we're going to we got jam skate, okay, it's not the talk, but anyway, we're going to jam skate, all right, we're going to, we call it, we're going to back zone it, okay, 
and now it's saying any cover two if they're in smash or there's an outside and two running out. We're going to back zone it. it. Means we're going to zone turn it. Right, our eyes are inside. We're going to zone turn it the go cut. Okay, I know I'm getting this. Okay, I see the action when I snap my head. I see the action. I know it's waggle. I know I've got a dot. I know I've got a live drag cut. Okay. So what we want to do is we're going to sink and we tell them you're, you're a hole player. Three to four, three to four from the boundary, 18, 22 yards deep, right? You're still your hole player. Okay? I'm going to sink on, I'm going to back zone this, sink it in. He's got, he has got the drag cut. Okay? Knowing what? This is a check down route. So I'm going to back zone my eyes here. He looks his ass up because it'll, it'll be different because he'll be where? He'll be out here. He'll be inside. Right? I'm going to back zone on. Look, he's eyeing this thing. We're going to hit that in the face. Okay? We're going to what? Any zone coverage, we still talk about five and under is a no cover zone. Okay? Five and under is no cover zone. So this little flat route, we don't give a crap. We're going to rally to that. Okay? So corner here, all right? I would skate, all right? Jam the outside release. I'm going to back zone it in. I know, okay, it's waggle coming to me. I'm looking. I'm finding the drag cut. There it is, okay? If he stares him down, I'm going to eat it up, okay? If he don't, I'm going to hang in my back zone, right? I'm take, I'm sitting underneath and then make sure they don't throw that fade in there. Chances are, which I tell him right off that, hey, look, <coughs> if he's going to throw this thing, he's got to throw it. So that route... If he holds that ball, this route's done. Free safety's got it. So now what? I can sit. I don't need to keep climbing. It's going to declare it before I'm at 15. So as I back zone in there, before I'm at 15 yards, I even want to know that the ball is going to come to this guy and go play this route or no, this route's over with. I'm at 15, that, boom. He's not throwing a go cut. So I know I see it. This one on the drag cut or it's the flat. Okay? And what I want to do is I want to be, obviously, if he turns his shoulders and throws the flat, I'm going to rally it and make a tackle on that. Well, that's how we want to cover two. I think it's a great, uh, that's why I said, in, in, when we get the 10 personnel stuff, we want to be in too high, right? When we get any type of 10 personnel boot, we want to be in some type of too high concept, okay? So we're going to give the backers this, okay? Knowing that our help, if he runs away from us, because that's what's going to happen, okay? You get a wide out in there, we can cover him in here, all right? Play keeps expanding, we ain't covering his butt, he's gonna run away from ours. Okay? If he can't, I got better people than them, I'm gonna beat him anyway. Okay? But um, then obviously the corner would take the drag cut if it continues out, and then he would rally to the flat right there. Okay? And we like that a lot better than playing man. Okay? The other thing that happens on the on the boot cut, you saw it on the screen, and I think it's not, uh, I think it's a lot harder to defend is when they give you three, right? It's when they give you three that side, and now they're going to give you load, right? And now he's going to do this action, and they'll go flat route. That's just a full back in the flat. That's all it is. That's a full back in the flat, okay? All right? Instead of the drag cut, they're going to concepts, it's areas. It's here. It's here, it's here, okay? And that's the big thing is we understand concepts of the boot and waggle. How they get to those areas can be different, okay? Okay? That's the same thing as this guy going from here to here. 10 to 12 yards outside the tackle box, flat, that's his check down. Got a decoy to stretch the defender out. Okay? Alright? So when we get three, usually we're going to go, basic rule if we were playing cover two. Okay. And you're going to get backside post. They're not going to run them into the same zone. So if they're going to run five across, they're going to do something else. It'll be flood concept, now he'll go out. I'll change that in a second. Okay, and here's the concept with first one simple to one cut or two from one cut side, that's pretty easy to me. Okay, 
Now they go to this. Okay. When we aren't too high, we're going to give him the top down man. Okay. All right. Well, let me do this one first. We're going to squat him right now. Okay. Because it's four to the side. We're going to squat him and I'm going to back zone him doing the same thing. Okay. I'm still going to play over the top of one and two. I'm the half field player. Okay. This backside safety, we're telling him now it's three, it's four to the side. Okay. He's going to play X to three. That's his rule. Okay. Do a straight drop back pass and then through the fade cut to the X, I'm going to play X. That ball's going to come out now. It's either going to slant or fade to X. If it's not that, I'm checking three right now. All right? All right? I see three. Three goes flat. I'm going to zone my quarter. Okay? So we're going to take care of the backside post. Okay? We're going to vice the post. All right? Here, you saw on the, the, that one clip of that was saying it was this was that route. All right? I'm going, to, I'm going to take that. I can't just jump it. That's still in the no cover zone. Okay? So what do I got to do? I want to try to get hands on and hang until I feel I'm getting out leverage. When I get out leverage, I want to take the flat route. Okay? I'm the backer on that side. It's four to the side. Boss out. He should slide out of man. I get this, so that's going to make me probably what? I should take the bite. Okay? He takes the bite. Okay? All right. We're going to bracket this thing. All right? We bracket. We, we want to fit it. You're on the curl. You're on the flat. You back zone, take care of that, okay? I'm going to back zone this. We're going to take care of that, all right? We're going that. Change up on the spread now. They want one or two in the same spot. Blue. So now we're going to take five on the drag cut, okay? They're going to run two on a corner route. Okay. All right. Ideally, they want to do this versus cover three. They want to get your corner where? So that. They're going to hit this right behind, too shallow for the safety. Get the safety bite on that. They're going to hit this route. Ideally, they want that route versus cover three. But here it goes. If it's cover two, how we're we going to match it? Same thing. Okay. Jam back zone. Okay. As soon as I get the, the double zone, it's called a double zone pattern. Okay. I get two in my zone. As soon as I get two in my zone, I'm gonna corner's gonna take the sail route. Okay, he takes that. Safety's over top of one. Okay, again, hang, leverage, take that. Your backer's gonna push. He's gonna have to fall off on what? The drag cut. Okay. If there, and again, you get help from the safety here on this because he goes immediate cross. We're gonna drive that. And we're going to push the corner to the middle post. Okay? We <clears throat> good? Is that, is that corner making a cut call? You guys have something different for that on the back side. This one? No, nah, we don't even call it. We just... Because that's where he's looking immediately. Anyway for the, he's reading out the quick game, but he sees that coming. Yeah, right. He sees five go across. <coughs> Boom. He's just gonna squeeze his get he's gonna squeeze his divider and work his butt back inside. Now if we were mat if we were um if we were pattern if we were matching it, okay, and he goes inside the divider, I'm gonna trail man and say he's gonna be on top. If we're true to it, okay, he's gonna go in, we let it go, I'm gonna squeeze, okay, I'm gonna take it. If we're matching it, Again, he's gonna, I, I mean, I've got him. He works inside. I'm going to take him. Okay? If we were taking him as a solo, now I'm top down, man, then I've got him by myself. Okay? So make this case on. Probably do three, three different damn ways to do it. Okay? If we're solo on the backside, I'm top down, man, right? Okay? I'm a quarters, I'm a quarters guy, right? So now I get the drag. I'm going to take the cut. I'm working over the top. Okay. Push the post. Right. But you wouldn't do that in true pass. We, we are saying we, you wouldn't do it. 
What's that? Play Drew has on both sides. Out of, the, out out of, of that? Out of the load. We can if we were, yeah. We can. But you just play. There's about everything we can do. Right. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't rather. I'd rather match it somewhere, especially if we're getting. Uh, if we're getting some type of boot play action, we we would rather match it. Right. We want to match all the routes. But if we play cover two, and obviously if we're playing true cover two spot, this he's gonna, he's leaving me. I don't have a threat. That's my only guy. I'm gonna take him. And he's gonna work back. Because you've got nobody in your zone. Work for depth. Look for something across and coming back to you. And there's a that's a, that's a. When we start talking coverages, there's basic principles we talk about coverages, and then I think we'll go into our concepts of, of how we're going to play them. So I know if I'm a corner, I know what I got if I get double zone, and it don't matter if this guy runs the he runs a he runs the go and he runs a seven or he runs a seven he runs the go. Don't make a difference. How do you play the zone? Same thing with the backers. How do you play the zone? We're going to play any zone, play the top down. Okay. Is, is there another way you guys are seeing any spread out, a spread, boot, waggle type of things? I think it's a lot more difficult. We start seeing uh, the curl inside by two and the flat by three. That's a, that's a good one. We saw lately that uh, uh, more teams are doing that just because it gets so consistent. You chug the drag, the backside guy that's in there. But to get into three in that, and what happens is this is a, it's, he's already got width. Two's already got his width where that guy's trying to get to. It's in a two by two set. He's already got the width, so he's down. He's, he's open a lot sooner than a drag cut would be. So I think that's I mean, obviously it's a, that's a hard route to defend. Okay. Whereas the drag cut, I mean, he's got to bypass. He's got to get in. He ain't throwing the ball anywhere here. He's not gonna throw the ball anywhere and all that. He don't throw the ball until he gets over here. Okay. Coach, what we do on row, kind of play the same way. On. Just rows, quarterback rows, running back blocks. If, if we're in zone, yeah, if we're in any type of zone, it's going to be the same thing. Sprint out, boots, and pretty much going to be the same thing. If we're in zone, if he just rolls out, okay, backside backer is always responsible for second contain, okay, the rest of it, we're going to squeeze the zones. Anytime he moves the pocket, my zone's going to move one over one, right? All right? So if this curl, this, the curl defender has now become the what? Flat. The hook defender now becomes the curl player. The backside is going to go to the back, right? He becomes the hook defender to second contain. Right? Your backside guy again, he's going to squeeze on the backside, look for anything coming back, and he's always got to check the backside screen or the wheel coming out the backside. Right? I know if I am a flat defender and the boot or uh, sprint out away from me, he always wants to check the throw back to the tailback, make sure he comes screaming out there, we're going to cover him. Okay? You ever defend the boot with pressure? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There's yeah. There's I mean there's a lot of those, those types of things. The same thing. Just the same thing. We did zone option. I mean, we want to play it, but if you know if I know it's coming, then we're gonna hit it. Okay. Um, same thing. If if you can get in or two off the edge, if you get two off the edge, you're gonna stop all that. Okay. All right. So you know just that same blitz I drew up. We drew up zone pressure. If I put the uh, the five, if I put the five technique here, and then bring that invert here, do that. It's going to pull him up right now, okay? And then we'd say if we're, I'll get in the zone pressure stuff. We're still too high, okay? So it's still the same thing. Back zone sink, play the hold. But your problem is if you do this, okay? Because he's got to get his zone all the way over there, right? Same thing. I got to push my zone. What you're, what you're counting, and I'm hitting it in the face. The ball's got to come out. Good. And then we uh, we can do some of that. What you saw on the tape was we do, uh, you kind of get the best of both worlds, was we put two on the outside and still play too high and, and didn't vacate the zone. So we had safety, corner, we're playing too high, okay? We put one backer inside, we put both backers on the edge, right? So when backer, backer, we slip them over, put the hands on the same side, okay? I line them up here. Now you got the boot. We got two on the boot, okay? And then we had the other guy. We're at six DBs. We got two on the boot. We got everything matched up. It's all good.
Okay. But again, they gotta be in what? Like I said, they're third, third and five. You know. And again, I think that that's all based on uh, you know, in your conference or the people you're playing, you know, or what down do they become what down do they become hundred percent pass or ninety five percent? You know? And generally in college football now, if it's third and four or more, it's hell you're gonna be ninety eight percent pass. Third and four or more. It's a pass down. We're playing usually with six DBs. Goes to third and six, third and seven. We got usually six DBs on the field unless we want to pressure you. Okay. Um, covered it out of two. Covered it out of three. Covered it out of one. Any questions about any of that? No? Right. Let's go ahead and um, let's, uh, we're going to start the next talk. We're gonna talk we're gonna, now I'm going to get really into the past concepts. Okay? And I'm going to start with the concept and we're going to talk about the quick game, the bubble, the empty checks, and then we're going to go past up and talk most of the, uh, again, the coverage things. Okay? Alright? We good?